A certain town's population can be modeled by the function where P of T gives the town's population T years after 1995. The town's population in 1995 was 20,000. And eight years later, in 2003, the town's population had grown to 52,000. We have three questions being asked of us. Find the value of K in the population function. Round your answer to four decimal places. In order for us to find this value, we need to use the function that we already have, that is P of T equals 20,000 e to the kt. And we need some information for this equation, and that will come from what happened eight years later and the population being 52,000. And since t is the number of years after 1995, t will be 8 in this equation when we make a substitution. As for the population p of t, that will be the population that happened 8 years after 1995. That population is 52,000. So we'll make some substitutions here. 52,000 equals 20,000 e to the k times 8 power. And what we need to do here is solve this exponential equation for k. And in order for us to do that, we need to first isolate this e to the k8 power. In order for us to do that, we're just going to divide by 20,000, both sides. And we will also simplify this fraction all at the same time. When we do that, we will get 13 over 5 equals e to the 8k power. Since this exponential part has been isolated, now we need to write both sides in terms of logs. And since we have a base e, we will be using natural logs. So to switch this over to exponent, uh, logarithmic form, it will become the natural log of 13 over 5 equals 8k. And now the last thing we need to do is isolate this k. And in order for us to do that, we will just divide everything by 8. So now we have this final answer, k equals natural log of 13 over 5, all of that divided by 8. And we need to represent this as a decimal, so if you use your calculator, you will find that this equals 0.1194. Since we know k equals 0.1194, we can put that into the equation in the exponent, the original equation. And now we have an equation that we can work with. And we can now use this equation to tell us what we should expect the population to be in 2007. The first thing we need to do here, though, is find out how many years past 1995 is 2007. So we will just subtract 2007 minus 1995, and that gives... 12 years. So now we have a time measurement that we can substitute into the equation and we can get back a population. So P of T equals 20,000 e to the point 0.1194 times 12 power. And this entire expression over here on the right simplifies down to 
people. The final part of this exercise asks to round this number to the nearest hundred people. In the closest hundred people, we are going to round down to 8,000, 83,000, 800 people. In part C of this exercise, we are asked in what year will the town's population reach 100,000 people? And this is similar to the last problem where we will be substituting a number in to an equation, but this is no longer a time. This is a population, so we will be substituting 100,000 into the population variable over here, p of t. So when we write this down, we will have 100,000 equals 20,000 e to the point 1194 t. And this is good. We have the variable t left in our equation because we are looking for a time in what year. So this is also going to be solved similarly to the first part of this exercise. So we will divide by 20,000 and that will give us 5 equals e to the point 1194 times t power. Here we will switch it over to logarithmic form, making sure we use natural log because our base is e. So this will result in the natural log of 5 equals point 1194t. And in the final step for solving, we will divide this by 0.1194. And that'll give us a value of t equals natural log of 5 divided by 0.1194. <clears throat> and I don't know what this value is as a number. So we're going to switch it over to a number very quickly and we will get 13.479 and our time unit here is years. That is how many years after 1995 that the population will reach 100,000 people. So what we need to do is we need to go back and add 1995 and 13.479 and we will get the following 2008.479 and when you get an answer like this for years the decimal does not mean anything. This population will reach 100,000 people in the year 2008.